Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 28th of 2023 is titled Jupiter and the Geminid. So what do we see here? Well, here we see exactly what it does say in the title. We see the planet Jupiter. And if you can see that there, off to the right-hand side, the brightest star-like object in the image is the largest planet in our solar system. Now, even though it's the largest planet in our solar system, because of its great distance from Earth, it still looks like just a point of light in the sky, one of the brighter points of light that we see. And other than pretty much Venus, it's really about the brightest thing that we see in the sky, other than, of course, our sun and moon. Now, the planets are noted for wandering among the stars, and that's how they get their name as planets, is for wanderers. And that's because if you watch the planets over a period of time, their relative positions will change. Now, when you look at a constellation or the stars, they stay the same. You see the same pattern year after year after year, but those planets would seem to move among the constellations. And that is because they are within our own solar system they're much closer and they are orbiting the Sun much as Earth does and the relative positions to the more distant stars will appear then to change now we also see another object here something much closer to us and that is one of the Geminid meteors now Geminid meteors get their name because they appear to radiate from the constellation Gemini and meteors are uh, little bits of material, generally grains of sand, specks of dust traveling through space. And when they strike Earth's atmosphere, they hit it at a very high speed and they vaporize in the Earth's upper atmosphere. And we can see that trail. So these small objects never make it down to Earth to strike the surface. They are vaporized completely up in the Earth's upper atmosphere and never make it down to the ground. And that differentiates a meteor, that flash of light that we see in the sky, from a meteorite or an object that has actually was larger, made it through the atmosphere and was able to land on Earth. So here we are seeing one of the Geminid meteors, just that flash of light in the sky. In order to have a meteorite, you need a much larger object, something that is big enough to withstand the trip through the atmosphere and actually land on the surface of Earth. Now those do occur as well, but when we talk about meteor showers, almost every object we see will be vaporized up in Earth's upper atmosphere and never make it anywhere close to uh, the planet itself. Now we actually see those two close together here. We see the Geminid meteor uh, through the center and Jupiter a little bit off to the right of the image here as well. And of course a number of more distant stars that we see off much much farther away than either of these two. So that was our picture of the day for December 28th of 2023. It was titled Jupiter and the Geminid. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Shakespeare in Space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.